hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see about azure kubernetes service so in the previous video we have you know um, pushed our one of the uh, custom image to the container registry let me just go to the container registry and here in the repository we can see that there is the ecg mysql and uh, let's try to you know push one more uh, repository from our uh, linux virtual machine and then we'll use the kubernetes service to deploy multiple container so let me log in to the the azure vm and here if you can see docker images I have a Alpine image, which is the latest tag I have already downloaded. So let's try to push this into the Azure container registry. So let me use the command docker tag will be Alpine and the container name is going to be the same container. azure co.io slash alpine okay so next we'll push this okay let me just copy and paste it okay now this has been pushed to the azure container let me just refresh okay so now we can see uh, both the images in the azure container registry now let's go ahead and create the kubernetes service let me go to the all service and create kubernetes service and click on create so I'm going to use the RG1 resource group and then enter the Kubernetes cluster name. And the region and the zone availability. Let's just leave it one. And let's leave it with the default version. okay looks like uh, this version is not available let's try to pick up the available version okay so since i'm using the uh, free trial version uh, i do not have the sufficient uh, available size to you know deploy the kubernetes cluster but you can you know just uh, go ahead and uh, do this in your subscription if it is uh, you know feasible and once you deploy this kubernetes cluster there will be option for the workloads where you can you know deploy the workloads and uh, after that you can check the services or the containers running on the azure kubernetes cluster so in this way you can manage you know when there is a, a many number of uh, containers which is difficult to manage you know separately so that is why we are using the kubernetes cluster for managing multiple containers as the orchestration service so using kubernetes cluster it will be you know uh, easy to manage all the you know a number of uh, containers to deploy multiple ports or application services all those things Okay, so that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next.